everybody, it's the Ginger Optimist, and today I'm going to make my homemade laundry soap. So let's get started. The items that I use in my laundry soap is half a bar of Zoat soap, half a bar of Bell's naphtha, and one bar of Kirk's Castile cocoa soap. I use a cup of, oops, Laundry Booster Super Washing Soda, two cups of Borax, and one cup of Pure Baking Soda. I've already mixed up all the powders right in here. And now it's time to work on the bars of soap. I have two quarts of water already heating up on the stove to a medium heat. I'm gonna melt the soap. I'm gonna go ahead and put the first bar in, or half bar. Now we'll work on the half bar of zone soap. On the coconut soap, if you will slice it at an angle, it kind of just shreds it in real tiny pieces, which is what you want. Can you see how powdery this is? Now, this is our last bar. We're gonna add it to our water mixture on the stove. So when I have half a bar of soap left over, what I like to do with that is I like to use my food saver and seal it so that it stays airtight because it'll keep it fresh and the fresher the soap, the easier it is to shred it. Now it's airtight and good to go for the next time. You don't have to do this, it just makes it easier on your hands when you go to shred the soap. Okay, so we've got the soaps all melted. And if there's just a few little chunks that didn't dissolve, you can just take those out. Be careful, it's gonna be very hot. Before I add the hot mixture to my five gallon bucket, and you do want to use a heavy duty bucket, if you use a really cheap bucket with thin plastic, take it from someone who knows you will get up to your laundry room being sudsy and water and soap everywhere so don't go with a cheap bucket get a really good quality heavy duty bucket so we're going to put some cold water in the bucket i'm going to add the soap water Now we're gonna add the borax, washing soda, and baking soda that's already mixed together in here. I'm going to finish filling this bucket up with water, stir it up, put the lid on, and in the morning I will get up and I will put my hand all the way down in there, my arm, and I'll work it and mix it up really good, and then it's ready to use. One of the things that I do is I like to put a label, I don't know if you can see that, of the date when I make the soap. This says July 4th, 2017. That is the last time I made my laundry soap. Today is April 15th, so April, May, June, July. Nine months for me and my husband, just the two of us, to use five gallons of laundry soap. That is a lot of savings, my friend, and it really makes my clothes come out fresh and clean. They don't smell perfumey. And if you wanna know what I use for my fabric softener, 
It is white distilled vinegar. And no, my clothes do not come out smelling like vinegar. They come out just fresh and clean. In fact, when I do a towel load, I pour extra vinegar in to help get rid of bacteria in towels and washcloths. Anyway, that's how I make my laundry soap. This is what it looks like when it's all done. Can you see that? Just smells clean. And I have been doing this in my HE washing machine for right at four years now. When I go to wash my clothes, I just put a cup. This is from an old, uh, several years ago, from a professional bottle of laundry soap. And if I'm doing a full load, I will do a full cup and I set it inside my washing machine. I do not run this through the dispenser. I put it in the cup inside the washing machine. If I'm only doing a small load, then of course I'm going to adjust by however uh, the size my load is. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not following me already, I hope you will. Have a great rest of your day. God bless. Bye.